going on guys, Aaron Ken here, back in trouble with the break of season 2 video. Just when you thought the season was dead after Vera Sunwee's uh, release, we actually have some new cons, we have some new boosts, and we actually have a campaign. Yes, a campaign comes to the breakers, which is very rare, bro. We, we get a comparing like, like, once every blue moon. So, of course, the Androids banner is back. You guys haven't seen my short. Now you know, uh, it's here. It's actually in the game right now. And, uh, first, before we get into the news board, I do want to show you guys, unfortunately, for people that were hoping if Wall Kick was appearing on this banner, as you can see, everything for 16 is here, everything for 17 is here. Unfortunately, for 18, all we have is Destructo Disc, Full Power Energy Blast Volley, VIP Special, Dual Destructo Disc, and Barrier Auto Recovery. There is no Wall Kick at 18, so I, I generally don't know when Wall Kick is going to come to the game. This, this seemed like the perfect time to bring it to people that did not pre-order the game. If you don't know, people that pre-ordered Dragon Ball The Breakers got a uh, special mount, a little dragon mount, a uh, wall kick, and I believe like a scouter skin. And if you didn't, you just don't have access to those things. I understand the cosmetics because who kind of cares about the cosmetics, but the fact that wall kick is a pretty good skill and the fact that a lot of players don't have it because they didn't pre-order the game kind of sucks. So I don't know when it's coming into the game. Like, hopefully they bring it back in season three, but uh, here is the Androids banner. Um, it is here along with the Beerus and Weiss banner and the uh, Spirit Cyber Volume 2 banner. If you look at the rates of the Androids, it is actually increased. So like, for example, if you look at Android 17's energy field, it's 0.500%. Uh, and if you were to look on the banner with Beerus and Weiss, and if you find Android 17 here, energy field, it's 0.263%. So I'm not an odd guy, I'm not a betting guy, but uh, of course, 0.500% is better than 2.63. And then looking at this banner, which is the Spirit Siphon, let's find 17 here as well. Uh, energy Field is 0.417. So if you do not have Energy Field, and if you want Energy Field, this is the banner to summon on. I do think the value of Energy Field has decreased a little bit, but we'll get back into that in a minute. I do want to get into the news and the campaign. So, if you guys don't know, Golden Week is a huge thing. It's something that happens in campaign. It's like uh, a vacation, like week or something in Japan. It's a, it's a huge celebration. And typically, gacha games and Japanese games get uh, rewards and bonuses and campaigns and whatnot. So, uh, we're getting access to extra Zenny, EXP, Super Warrior Spirits during this campaign. And what's really interesting, uh, before I get into this, because this is just going to be a lot of text here, I'm actually going to pull up the Twitter. So, give me one sec to go ahead and do that. So here we are on the Japanese Twitter. This is the announcement of the boost that we're going to receive. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't Japanese, so I can't really uh, tell you what the hell this is saying, but we can translate um, here. Uh, Golden Week campaign starts today. Literally, as I'm recording this, April 28th, Golden Week has started. It's uh, live right now. Uh, in addition to Spirit Siphon version Androids, campaigns to increase the amount of acquisitions such as any will be held uh, sequentially. And we'll read that in the news. Uh, let me go back up here. Now, what's really exciting is this campaign. Uh, I mean, we've gotten boosts like that in the past, but I think this is what's really unique coming I mean, the Golden Week. So, Season 2 Gacha Ticket will be presented according to the total number of matches for all users. This is your chance to win up to 15 total tickets. So, it seems like for the amount of games that the entire player base plays, I imagine this is across the entire player base, uh, 10,000 gives us one ticket, 70,000, which is a huge jump, uh, gives us two, uh, 130,000 gives us three, 190 gives us four, five gives, uh, is with 250,000 games. And I believe as we continue to play games, we'll get more rewards, but this is pretty good. And honestly, depending on how successful we are with this campaign, it's going to be a good indication of how healthy the player base is. Cause besides knowing, um, you know, checking the steam chart to see the PC player base, we don't really know when it comes to switch xbox or playstation i mean i imagine playstation is the most uh populated but here is the translations in terms of the the post so this is going to be available from the 28th till may 14th which is pretty decent so it'll give us something to do uh while we won't have any more transfers to play with because we fear so we sort of last week transfers that we got for the season so i'm glad that we do have a campaign to play around with uh in the meantime hopefully after this campaign ends maybe they'll drop the uh the trailer for uh season three and the raider at least a tease right and this is uh the gotcha for the androids so the zenny boost is going to be from the 28th uh probably till the 30th 
and this is going to be the 30. I mean, we can look in the news for specifics, but this is a, a Zenny boost, experience boost, and a Super Warrior Experience boost campaign. So a very traditional boost system that they have here. Fortunately, the Zenny boost is only 1.2. It's not 1.5 or double like we got for Saiyan Day. But um, XP is still pretty good. XP is a good day to grind. Uh, I'm not even maxed out myself. The max level is 150 right now. So this is a good time to grind if you want to grind your Raiders or if you want to grind uh, your character. It's Super Warrior Spirit. Honestly, uh, the boosts for Super Warrior Spirits have grown on me as well. But um, now that we've gotten a look at that, let's check the actual um, news posting here. So this is going to be uh, from now until the 14th of May or the 15th, uh, my time Eastern. So this is the bonuses. Okay, so this is it. Yeah, okay, so this is basically what the uh, the post said. Uh, once we get 250,000 matches, we'll get five tickets. Bonuses will be distributed to players who log in at least once during the campaign period and reach the results screen. Wait. Bonuses will only be distributed to players who log in at least once during the campaign period and reach the results screen of online matches. Okay, so you basically just need to complete one game. You can literally just complete one game and let the rest of the community carry you and you'll get the rewards of the tickets. Bonuses will be distributed en masse once a final tally has been made after the campaign period ends. So again, this is going to be a really interesting way to determine how healthy the game is and how many people are actually playing the game. If we're able to reach 250,000 matches, I think that's honestly a sign that the, the game is doing okay. If we can't even reach like 130,000, that's bad. That's bad. I mean, the fact that we're even launching this campaign means that they should have some confidence that the player base is fairly high or doing well. But you know what? We'll see once um, everything, uh, you know, is distributed. Introducing the Spirit Siphon Androids. Spirit Siphon Androids makes its debut as part of the Golden Week campaign. I don't know why it's saying it's making its debut because this banner was released a long time ago. Select the multi summon for 10 summons. You'll be guaranteed one of these new transfers. 17, 18, and 16. Hold on. It's saying that it's guaranteeing one of the new transfers, 17, 18, and 16. But then it's saying right here, a new transfer will not be guaranteed. It was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So actually, what this is saying, if you don't have uh, 17, 16, or 18, summon on this banner and you'll get them straight up. So uh, I think if you have tickets running around or is any running, uh, lying around, if you already pull beer and Luis and you're just trying to collect as many characters as you can, you might as well pull with these characters. I think 18 is a very good transfer. She has solid key blast. Uh, Dual Destructo this uh, unfortunately isn't that great. 16 is okay. I mean, he has a nice ass, bro. He's really thick. But his super attacks are kind of okay. His key blasts are decent at level 3. 17's key blasts are booty, but a super electric strike is fantastic. It's um, aged very, very well. It's one of the best super uh, attacks in the game, if not the best. And of course, you all know that energy field is one of the most OP active skills in the game so if you never pull with energy field now is the time i believe to uh if you were ever going to chase this ability this is me telling you you might as well uh test your luck on this banner i, I would say just do a multi but um i would never recommend chasing abilities but if you were do it on this banner all right so we have a zenny boost campaign from the 27th to the 29th yeah unfortunately they always make the zenny boost super super short it is what it is um, yeah, it's going to be 1.2 times any here. And then the EXP is going to actually be for a decent amount of time. It's going to be from the 29th till May 4th. So the Zenny Boost is live right now as I'm recording this. It's actually live, which is dope. Um, and Super Warrior Spirits goes live the 4th and then it ends the 7th. Interesting. Okay. And I believe that is it. Oh, they added costume sets. Recommended sets at the shop. A Vegeta set. Here's some Whis costume set. Yo, guys, be honest with me. Do y'all do y'all care about this? <laughs> do you care about these shop sets? Do y'all really get excited about these? I personally don't care, man. I feel like it's a waste of TP, personally. Like, I, I do think some of the outfits are drippy, but I honestly don't think it's a wise way to spend your TP, personally. Um, notice the Battle of Gods. Yeah, this is this has been in the game already. Um, and I believe that is it. Okay, yeah, so that's it. That's everything that we're getting for Golden Week. Though, so, uh, I'm pretty, I'm happy that they're doing this, man. I, I want them to do more campaigns. I feel like they should have them a lot more frequently. 
So according to the news board, it says that you're guaranteed to pull one of the three androids. And in terms of the pool, it's a pretty small pool uh, compared to the beers. So we, like, if you look at this pool of characters, it's actually, I feel like it's a little bigger. Like, let's, uh, let's look at this. Let's scroll them down a little bit. Yeah, th this, this is definitely smaller. It's a smaller pool. It's a smaller pool than this banner. Yeah, this one's definitely bigger. So, if you want to get Energy Field, this is the highest rate I've seen it at. It's at, uh, where is it? It's at 17, 17, 17. Energy Field. It's at 0.500%, uh, which is the highest. As you saw, the other one was, the Volume 2 Spirit Side was 0 0.4, and then the Beerus and Weiss, I think, was even less. So, this is the highest uh, rate to pull Energy Field. And uh, 16... Fortunately, none of his abilities are that great. Hell's Flash is, like, cool. Rocket Punch is okay. Uh, 18, I think, is a very solid transfer overall. She has full power energy Blast Volley. That's what I use uh, on her. Dual Destructive yes, used to be really good, but unfortunately, it, it does not. Uh, it did not age well. They nerfed it, unfortunately. But if you guys want to see the super attacks, I'll have to show you them. So I just saw uh, talking about them, right? So this is 17's Super Elastic Strike. Broken, very good, very quick, very snappy, uh, cost effective as well. Uh, 16 has Rocket Punch, not terrible, uh, pretty cost effective, uh, not bad, but it's definitely a close range ability. Hell's Flash is an ability that's uh, good to use on the Raider if you like fly above the Super Time Machine and kind of um, pepper him from above. It's, go it's good at AoE ability for that alone, uh, but not really for anything else. And then 18, I think, is very solid. I use her for full power energy blast volley, and her key blast at uh, level two and three are very good. It's very good at countering uh, the Raider's key blast. And um, the Destructive Disc is solid, and Dual Destructive Disc, unfortunately, they nerfed into the ground. It was a very good super attack, but unfortunately, it is not as good as it was. But yeah, boys, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this Golden Week campaign. I think this is a dub, honestly, because if we were not getting this, then the, basically the entire month of May would have been dead. Uh, so I'm really glad that they brought this and I'm very excited to see the results of this This is gonna go until May 14th or May 15th depending on uh, the time zones, but yeah, I'm very happy with this We got a campaign. We got a boost and we got um, the Android banner back for those of you who did not pull energy fields So very exciting stuff. Hey yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below again How you feel about the campaign if you think it's a little egregious the asking uh, how many matches they're asking us to do here. I think it is a little high. They might be a little overly confident, but maybe the, you know, maybe the game is doing that well. Uh, but, you know, let me know how you feel about Wall Kick not coming back. I was very surprised Wall Kick did not come back. Of course, like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe more to all the Breakers updates, showcases, funny moments, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.